Hi, this is Innovation, Video 1, Group 5. Home Computer Terminal Can we expect a computer like this in every home in the future? Time will tell us. We all know how people used to set daily reminder shopping list manually. It was regional and paper-based. This was how computer terminal was. With time it changed. Now people can check stock, they can go marketing, they can even have their home computer terminal. Now children could read and actually count using these terminals. It did come true. Children now had the more use of these computer terminals and it will get advanced in future with time. The next generation computer might be invisible. Artificial plastic grass. A solution for anyone who dreams of having their own garden but doesn't fancy the hassle of burning, wedding and reporting. Instead of fly spray, how about a polish? Forget the lawn mower. Just get out the vacuum cleaner to keep the plastic grass neat and tidy. This wasn't the case before. Husbands go through the trouble of gardening and getting their fingers green. This is how it used to work before. But it changed. It changed by favorite flowers now in, in and out of season. Weather has no effect as the grass doesn't fade or wither away. It did came true. Yes, artificial turf first gained substantial attention 52 years ago in 1966 when it was installed in the year old astrodome currently school computer nelly what they said a computer set to revolutionize the classroom before teachers used to teach manually with raw materials such as wooden paddles and horn books the change that came about they had the ability to make something different that schools wanted which made it valuable due to thinking it would be better for education and the future. The machine could be programmed by students to solve mathematical equations, play games, and even produce music. So what they said did become true. Today, we use computer for education and it's widely available in schools. Currently, education is taught through technology, but does the innovation limit us to engage with that someone in our heads? office of the future information is more valuable than gold and indeed it is we all know how the offices were before which actually were more dependent on human effort there was less mechanical effort and there were more of human errors but with time everything changes and so did the office change there were more mechanical dependence more mechanical effort and less human errors but as we all know as you saw the video the office of the future the one particular robot never came true because it had some errors that could never be overcome but the mining firm became true and it got advanced with times and in future we can see that the humans are going to be more dependent on machines the office of the future with time will have more mechanical advancements. There will be cutting edge of technology in the coming days. So because it shows the videos. New banking, what they said. This machine will give one single British bank a capacity greater than all by a handful of the world's most developed nations. Before, people used to walk around with all their money and cash books on them. This was not safe or secure. If you forgot this at home, this was inconvenient as well, as you could not make any payments or transactions. New banking bring about change. People could simply transfer funds from their accounts to shops. Details were stored in the memory of the machine to access instantly. You would need a four pin code, which today we call a pin number. So yes, what they said was very true. Today we use our phones to make transfers and payments due to mobile banking. We use the internet to make payments. 
with the help of digital bank operation. But on the other hand, some shops don't use payment. Mobile phones. We all really know how important mobile phones are in our daily life. The video that tells us it's the time of 1979. And here we can all see Michael Rod examines a British prototype for a cordless telephone that allows us to make calls from anywhere. But this is not something that there was there from the really beginning. The phones were totally different beforehand. Transmitter receivers that used to put callers connected to the post office operator and that connected the radio extension to the rest of the network. That changed us into something that we all follow till now. We started dialing ourselves and we were allowed to talk to people and there was less confusion between radio caller and telephone number. The prototype phone, yes, it did come true and it made things easier for the communication. The phones in future might get more realistic and also we have a higher number of chance that the phones in future get more mobile and it changes into something that for... Computer input devices, the light pen. It is an invention that helped to draw directly in the screen of a computer and share the information very quickly. This was in pens before because it was necessary to feed the computer with a huge amount of paper to give a single indication. Now, they see the same as us. It worked, yes, really, because it was the predecessor of the famous touch screen. What we aim from the future? We think that the next input device will recognize our thoughts. Why? Because now, engineers are trying to establish conversation between machines and humans, and they think that the problem is that machines don't understand our world. So, they are working on that. We think that they are going to, to get it. But the next step is thinking the brain as an input device. Why not? Because innovation has an intended outcome, but an unknown start. So, we know what we want. Let's start. How the future will be? We think that we have a lot of work to do. Why? Because the number of robots in different jobs is increasing. So we need to enhance our abilities that cannot be copied by them. For example, imagination, creativity, and entrepreneurship in order to innovate. The second thing that we think will change is the mobility, because no more drivers will be needed. In order to avoid traffic, cars could fly. Also, life in other planets could be developed. Other change we think would be is the economy because it would turn more and more green under the trend in the capitalism that is socially vast and is focused in local business, organic, sustainable and responsible ideas. But innovation is a change into the unknown, so we will not know until it happens, so let's start.